All right, in this video, um, we're going to log in as a student and um, we're going to take the SQUIRM quiz uh, so we can see the results. And then we're going to log in as a different student so we can see the results um, for both. So we're going to go to the training presentation, enter. It's going to be loud. Turn it down a little bit. Uh, the course is loading and you're not supposed to be able to but for this course you can actually skip the whole course so we're just gonna answer some of these questions and uh, try to get a different score than what the other students gonna get so we can see the differences So right now I'm just pretending I'm the student and they're taking this quiz so they can get a score. Okay, so this person got 30 points. So let's go to exit. Of course that's not passing, so the student's going to have to retake the course. But we just want to get one of their scores. We're going to log out and we're going to log in as student number two. Alright, so now we're logged in as a different student. We're going to um, go into the same course, into the same quiz. And this time we're going to try to get a different score. Go to the test. Um, let me see if I can get this. Uh, yes. Uh, no. No, it's about to know how much it should be. Uh, Put all of them except names. Okay. Uh, previous adult to raise a child. I don't really know all the answers, I just remember them. He's afraid. Uh, 30 days. Um, all the above. Um, all of them except the Incorrect. Let's do all the above. Um, that one, that one, that one. Okay. Okay, so this student got a passing score of 90%. So we'll go to exit. Close the window. And let's hit refresh. And you can see that the training presentation gets a check mark because they passed the, the quiz uh, with 80% or higher that was required, and therefore they get a check mark. So now let's log in as the administrator so you can see what the <clears throat> grades look like. to this course and now we're going to click on grades and here um, this is the grader report and this is showing all the participants so this student got a 90 on the, on the quiz so this person passed and this person did not pass but the cool thing is that you can separate them so the February group this student got a 30 <clears throat> which is not passing so you would get a list of all the people that were in this group in one report and then for this group you'll get the, re the results for this this group scores so that's a way to separate um, the two different groups let's say you want to offer the course for two weeks so that could be the February group and you can get all the re results for them you can also, after that one's over, you want to offer it again. They could be the March group, and then their scores will be separate from that group, and it just makes it easier to manage because if you were, if all you had 
was this report that had all the users for this course. You wouldn't be able to separate them by um, who took the course in one month or the second month or nine months later. So this gives you a little bit better control over it.